All right, so today I thought I'd talk a little bit uh, about this idea, you know, is the earth flat? You know, talking with uh, immortal souls, uh, if you're not familiar, he is one of the very first ones to uh, throw out that idea on YouTube about 10 years ago. And um, it's nice that he keeps in touch. Uh, he's a very nice guy and uh, I always enjoy conversations with him, but um, the poor fella, he's just, he's wrong about his loyalty to the Pope in Rome, unfortunately. And uh, there's nothing I can do to break him of that. He's got to figure that out on his own. But um, he shares with me uh, this video. He tells me that Roy Cooper, who is also one of those who would put out videos uh, way back when when nobody else was and um, he's not I guess he doesn't have a channel anymore and Rory's from South Africa Immortal Souls is from Australia there was also a fake clouds in the sky who was from England and uh, he he shares a video that somebody copied of Rory Cooper or I guess his channel was my perspective Owen Benjamin by I'm not sure what all this stuff is first of all Neil pear shaped Tyson that's not very nice but the question of is the earth flat and the obviously and the obvious answer I give is no it's not flat um, if you say it's flat, you're wrong. You're flat wrong. It's not flat, it's bumpy. Hi folks, my perspective here. I watched a very interesting clip by Owen Benjamin where Owen focused on one topic that proves that the heliocentric... Is it just me or is his lips moving out of sync? It's a simple issue that the path of the Earth around the Sun is an ellipse. So let's listen to Owen now. I want to illustrate some of the points that Owen made and add one or two other issues that are. We fool you with this nonsense. All right. So, uh, anyways, um, always enjoyed Rory's thoughts and ideas. Uh, I'm not sure what's going on with him, but here the flat earth model is archaic and scientifically disproven they disproved it conception of earth's shape as a plane or a disc okay. um, so there you go they disproved it it's not flat bumpy scientifically proven so let's go let's get into this um, you know, it's interesting to me. It, it's always been interesting to me. If I go out there, if I'm out there and I tell people that uh, Earth is not flat, it's bumpy, they won't listen to me. Nobody ever listens to me. Um, but Eric Dubai, now he's he's a guy that came to me privately and I have much respect for this guy he's very nice very nice guy and he came to me privately and said hey can I use your, some of your material uh, and I said yeah absolutely go ahead I want you to take whatever you want and just share this with people and that's what he did and they would they won't listen to me but boy oh boy did they listen to him let's see is he still on YouTube he is look how popular he is he's a great speaker he's very <clears throat> articulate with his words I am a terrible speaker and my vocabulary is you know, very limited, 
right? You know, until I get angry. Then when I get angry, my vocabulary all of a sudden expands. But for the most part, I, I'm not a good speaker at all. So, yeah, it looks like he's still hammering it. Good job out of him. Of course, I'm, I don't agree with 95% of what he is going to teach. Because he does not believe, the last I knew, I could be wrong, he does not believe, there we go, see, look at that, if people will listen to him, they'll dig these bones out of the ground, and we'll have a bone for bone comparison with reptiles that exist today, they won't believe me, they won't believe the evidence that I share, but they'll believe Eric to buy him whatever he says. It's incredible. It really is. But anyways, uh, who cares about all that? So let's get into the, is the earth flat? And you saw, right, where was that at? Here, let's just do this. Two types of people on flat earth. Smart people and dumb people. Alright, so the flat, right there. Wikipedia confirms that it's scientifically disproven. Now, Let's disprove it with the Bible. Uh, let's go, let's do this. Oh, isn't that interesting? Circle is only mentioned one time. How, how do you spell circumference? Oh, let's see. Let's do it this way. Circumcised, that ain't gonna work. Circumference. Cir <clears throat> Circumference. Am I spelling that right? Circumference. The enclosing boundary of a curved geometric or geometric figure, especially a circle. So, circumference, not in the Bible. Nothing is a circumference. But, a circle is and it means the same thing All right I just showed you right did you miss it circumference let's do it this way thing especially a circle especially a circle so here we got 40 Isaiah chapter 40 verse 22 we're gonna disprove this idea that the Bible teaches a flatter Pay attention. All right, so let's go to where should we go to? All right, let's see. Let's just take a look here. Then inhabits the Earth's horizon. I like that. That's nice. God is the one who rules the whole earth, and we that live here are merely insects. Now that's about as stupid as it gets. I mean, that's the, the that's almost as stupid as what I'm about to show you. We're just insects. We're just bugs. Stop bugging me. Stop bugging me. Right there. Right. There. It's the a globe. Don't you know what a globe is? The Earth. Right there, it's proven right there by Google. Google proved it. So it's scientifically disproven. Earth is not flat. Of course, the Douay Reims is a, the Catholic Bible, in case you're not familiar. It is 100% Catholic. And our buddy, Immortal Souls, he reads that every night and drools on it. He loves it. Of course, it's corrupt and full of errors and contradictions. He has not yet seen it. So, my hope is that someday he does see it. But I can't convince him. Nobody listens to me. If Eric Dubai came out with a video saying, hey, the Douay Reims is corrupt, then maybe he'd listen. But if I say it, Nobody will listen. Guaranteed. Right, so, about the circle of the earth, circle of the earth, circle of the earth, circle of the earth, circle of the earth. Did I miss one up there? Oh, I did. 
Let's keep going. Circle the earth, circle the earth. Enthroned above the earth. I like that one. God is enthroned above the earth. Throne above the circle of the earth. Oh, no. What the H E double hockey sticks is this? The international standard? Is that what that is? International standard. It's just another version that has figured out a way to uh, come up with a book that does not violate copyright laws and they can make some money. It's all about making that money. He's the one who sits above the disk of the earth. Uh, the earth is not a disk, but they sell books. So who the H-E double hockey sticks cares, right? As long as you're making the money, it's all about the money. And of course, the King James Bible is not a version, it's the Bible, the Bible. It is, he that sitteth upon the circle of the earth, and the inhabitants thereof are as grasshoppers. It doesn't say they are grasshoppers. It does not in any way imply that we are bugs. People do bug me, I'll admit that, but we are not bugs. Okay? that stretch, stretcheth out the heavens as a curtain and spreadeth them out as a tent to dwell in. So just like you lay down in the tent and you have the, the tent above you, so also um, the heavens that contain the stars, the sun, moon, I should probably leave sun out, but uh, when, at night when you lay down and you look up in the sky, the heavens are stretched out like a tent. Very simple, easy to understand. Um, the circle of the earth. The people below must seem to meet him like grasshoppers. Ooh. Nice paraphrase. Have you not been paying attention? You stupid little twerp. Have you not been paying attention? Have you not been listening, you little dumb munchkin? Haven't you heard these stories all your life? Don't you understand a doggone thing? Don't you understand the foundation of all things? No. I don't. God sits high above the round ball of earth. Well, there it is. It's confirmed. Right there, the Bible tells us plainly, the round ball of earth. It's confirmed just like, uh, you know, just like Wikipedia tells us, man. Wikipedia. Boy, they are spot on, boys. They are on the ball. Scientifically disproven. Oops, what the hell is this? Oh, yeah, there's more information if you need to find out. Bronze Age, it's Iron Age, this is old, stupid people. Long time ago, didn't know D-A-M thing. And we are much more advanced than previous civilizations. We have technology. No, we have smarts. Back then, they were knuckle draggers. They didn't know squat. Just a bunch of dumb people. Just a bunch of dumb hicks didn't know squat. And oh, look at this. Poets and philosophers in Eastern Asia. And, oh, they got the whole. You just go nuts on that. By the time you end up reading that, you'd be convinced. Flat Earth is evil. Right, where, where am I at? So right, I mean, right there, fellas, can you not read the Bible? It says it right there in the Bible. You believe it, don't you? Don't you believe the Bible? Seriously, don't you believe what the Bible says? I mean, 
Aren't you one of those people that say every Bible version is true? Now all they did was they, they took the Hebrew and they translated it into the English. That's all they do. They translated that from the originals. Are they wrong? Is the originals wrong? What's the difference? What's the difference between this and any other verse in the Bible? Huh? Here you got round ball of earth. And here you got disc of the earth. They're both right, right? Because the Bible doesn't matter what version. Is that what you believe? It doesn't matter what version. Just believe whatever you want. That's the truth. Or are you going to then double speak and say that there is no Bible? And this is what. Uh, what gets me and what I want people what I want to push people to is admitting that they do not believe in any Bible on earth because there is no original Bible it does not exist what am I looking at? there is no original Bible at all so if you hear a lot of people say well it's translated from the originals and the variation for this word is cat some people translate it as dog but in our Bible we believe it's a cat and the kids seem to like it so well look for one thing you're translating it off of what are you taking the English word and translating it into Hebrew and then retranslating it back into English with all the available variables? Is that what you're doing? Or is there a particular manuscript that you're looking at? And, you know, you're like an expert on Hebrew. Are you an expert on Hebrew because you have a concordance because you have a strong concordance or is it because you got Google Translate so now you're an expert and you can pretend like you're smart is that what you're doing huh? is that honestly is that what you're doing pretending like oh I know Hebrew I've got Google Translate I can tell you every word in Hebrew so what's the manuscripts? Um, the specific name of the manuscript you believe is the perfect pure word of God. Just, you know, get that information ready because I'm going to, whenever we talk, I'm going to ask you. What is the name of the perfect Bible you believe in? What is the name of the manuscript that you're basing your translation off of? If you say, oh, it's the originals, I know you're lying. And not just lying, but you're stupid. Uh, you're probably more stupid than lying because I once was told that there was originals and I come to find out there are no originals. In fact, if you read the Bible, Moses smashed the originals. All right, so it, anyway, I'd like to get more into that, but let's try to stay on topic here. Right, okay, so uh, here we got the message says God sits above the round ball of the earth. Now, see, there's a problem here. Uh, I agree the earth is not flat, but it's, it's not a ball, and it's not a disc. It's not floating in the heavens. And the idea, this idea that earth is floating in the heavens is an evolutionist idea. Uh, real quickly, let me scan through. The, is, is there any more that we should uh, the, the vault, above the vault of the earth? Okay. And that's, hey, you're gonna. That's gonna add some points to your copyright ability, right? That's the only reason. That's the only reason why they use different words. Is so they can get the copyright. 
has nothing at all to do with the originals. All these versions are all perversions. They all corrupt the Word of God. Every single one of them. We could do this here. I'm getting off topic, but real quickly. Just let me do this real, real quick. For we are not as many which corrupt the Word of God. Now, if you were one of them that were corrupting the Word of God, wouldn't you change the wording? Because for one, you got to fit your copyright, right? And then, plus, you want to sort of, you, you don't want to shine too much light on that. You want to kind of muddy up the, that wording a little bit so people don't, you know, catch on to your scheme, right? We're not like so many hucksters making a trade of peddling. They completely changed the context of this. For we do not market the word of God for profit like so many, except that's exactly what they do. All right? We're not so many that hustle the word of God. See, this is not about the original. Well, the original says this. It's not about that at all. It's all about writing your book so that you can stay within the guidelines or the the legal copyright laws so you can sell your book and make some money for a fee. That's just brilliant. What was that one verse we were looking at? The message. I wonder what the message says. I mean, all these were peddling the Word of God, except that's what they do. They peddle it. The Catholic says, oh, we are not as many adulterating the Word of God. What the so this is what I mean. I don't understand. Render poorer equality. Is that rendering poorer? <clears throat> crying out. Rendering po adulterating. To me, that almost sounds like they're having sex with it. God sits <clears throat> high above the round ball of earth. Rendering poor quality. All right. So, anyways, uh, so selling the ERV, they sell their book. I mean, otherwise, why would they take the time to to write their books and to get their lawyers and to sign their legal papers and ship their books and print their books and all that? Now they're collecting the money on the books too. Guarantee. It's all about the money. All right, so I mean, did I go to the message? I'm going to read the message. Oh, okay, so I'm, maybe I'm not going to read this. When I arrived in Taurus to proclaim the message, blah 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 Is anyone confident to take it on? No, but le at least we don't take God's word, water it down, and then take it to the streets to sell it cheap. At least we don't do that. If we don't do that there. Alright, so anyways. Um, circle of earth, throw them above the earth. Dot, 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 dot. So, uh, not a huge uh, deal for most of these with this particular with this particular verse. But I just wanted to show you uh, <clears throat> that there is a problem. You cannot say that all these versions are true. It doesn't work. They are not all true. You have a clear contradiction between the ISV and the MSG. They both can't be true. It's impossible. You can't have a. What do you have a. What's the M, MSG say? Round ball. Round ball disc? Show me what a round ball disc is. Or you could even use the Catholic dummy ray or do ray. Globe of the earth. Disc of the earth. You got a problem. 
you got a serious problem right there. They cannot all be true. Of course, I'm going to say this again if you've never heard me say this. The King James Bible is not a version. It is the pure word of God in the English language. There are no mistakes, no errors. It is the perfect pure word of God in the English language. If you do not believe in a perfect pure word of God, a perfect Bible, then you don't believe in any Bible at all, in any language, anywhere in the world, at any time, ever. So it, and the fact, you forget what the Bible says because it doesn't matter. If you don't have that foundation, you cannot say definitively, this is what God says. All right, so uh, I think that's enough of that. I wanted to share that with you. And then um, if we wanted to prove, first of all, I mean, come on. If the earth is not flat, let me prove it to you real quick. I don't know if this is the best way to do it. I, no, this is just pictures. See, these are just cartoon renderings. They don't prove nothing. Let's go. I don't want to do Earth and space. That's more pictures or more, you know, cartoon. What what do you call it? Crayons. Crayons. Come on. That's not what I want. I do this? Earth from plane? Gosh. It's not really what I want. It's not really what I want at all. It's not what I'm looking for. It's not it. From... Actually, you know, just... I don't need that. There we go. Here we go. See? See that one right there? Wait, what's that say? Why the earth is actually 100% flat and then you show this? It's not flat at all. Look at, here's another one. Mountain surface of the earth, right there. Look at that. You see that? It's not flat, fellas. You're wrong. Wrong. It's proven. Scientifically proven. I proved it right there. You didn't even need Wikipedia. For crying out loud, you big dough heads. Now, look at that. That's not flat, Jack. Big D-U-M-B. You know what? Dummies. Come on, man. It's not flat. Look at that. Look at that. Huh? Oh, what's that? Does that hurt? Oh, that's not... Never mind. All right, so right there, scientifically proven, it's not flat. I I done it, fellas. It's not flat at all. It's bumpy. It's bumpy. Real bumpy. All right. Okay, now let's confirm this. All right, so this is a verse that. Uh, um, this is a verse that I so it might go to. And people say, you know, where does it say the earth is flat in the Bible? And I said, well, the earth is not flat, it's bumpy. And Genesis 1, verse 1, explains both earth and the idea of gravity. Okay, in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. All right, so you go outside, what do you see? You see heaven above, earth below. You want to call it flat? Call it flat. But it's not flat, it's bumpy. All right, anybody with eyes can see. It's bumpy, real bumpy. Even this guy knows it's bumpy. He probably knows better than anybody how bumpy it is. Bumpy. So you have you got air and you got solid, right? So the only way to have that that separation is to have heaven air above and earth solid below. That's how you get gravity. It has nothing to do with magnetism. Has nothing to do with oh, I don't remember what these 
retards say? Uh, something about uh, I forget the word they use. Uh, there's no, there's not you know it does there's nothing more scientific than that. It's very simple. This is the way God made it, and that's the way it is. You can throw all your theories out the window because you're not going to figure it out. You're just going to confuse yourself. You're going to confuse everybody. It's not even worth the discussion. It, it exists. Your theories are worthless. Okay, just point to. Genesis 1 1. And that should be the end of this discussion. Alright, so clearly there's no other suggestion that Earth is a planet. No suggestion that Earth is a ball. No suggestion Earth is a disc. No suggestion of Earth floating in the heavens. Alright, I spent days, uh, hours upon hours for days. I want you to try this. Look at this word heaven. Go through every mention of the word heaven, 691 mentions. Make sure you understand the context of each time this word is mentioned. All right, give it a shot and you'll see. That's what I did. I wouldn't tell you to do it if I wouldn't do it myself. This is what I did. And then I went through every single mention of the word earth. This will take hours. I'm not kidding you to make sure that you understand exactly the context of each mention. All right. The dry land he called earth. Right. And what you're going to end up finding is that there is nothing in the Bible that suggests the earth is a planet. Nothing suggesting earth is in heaven. Not one single time is there any suggestion even remote suggestion nothing implied at all of this idea of earth being in heaven it's not there fellas it's just not there okay and that's what the that's what the heliocentric model is is earth is in heaven and that's not true at all and this is a big deal because this is your world view Right, and this is really. I woke up. I've told this story before. I woke up one day, and this verse was ringing in my head. I was making my coffee, and I was thinking, you know, scratch my head. The circuit. What's a circuit? A circuit. A circuit from one end of heaven to the other. Circuit. I'm talking about the sun. The sun has a circuit, and I'm thinking. I'm thinking. You know kind of like right now because I I'm still drinking my coffee right and I'm like I gotta look that up I gotta look that up so I you know I make my coffee and I'm sitting there drinking my coffee and I'm looking at this Psalm 19 6 his going forth is from the end of the heaven and his circuit unto the ends of it and there is nothing hid from the heat there I'm talking about the sun so you think about this so you, I went back and read the whole thing so you think about this the sun has the cir has a circuit. That means the sun is going, is moving above us, and it has a circuit. It can only have a circuit if it's a fixed circuit. If it's just randomly floating along in the outer space, then it really doesn't have a circuit. If outer space was uh, endless then it could just travel forever and never coming back to the same place it once was ever again if it's endless it would never do that could never do that but the Bible says the Sun has a circuit so it comes back to where it started you cannot get that on a heliocentric model. It's not possible. And there's nothing hid from the heat thereof. Nothing hid from the heat thereof. So you want to say the sun is, I don't know what they say, 20 gajillion miles or something? I don't know. I think it's only a few miles. Maybe 30 miles? 
I don't think it's very far at all. I can't prove it because I can't, I can't fly you to the moon and show you. But you can't prove it either. Uh, you're 96 million miles, you can't prove that. It's all theory. Alright, so if if the sun has a circuit and nothing is hid from the heat thereof, it's close and it and it and it has a starting point and a sort of a finishing redo it point, right? And not only did you did you see that uh, from the end of heaven? Did you see that first? Did that phrase right there? His going forth is from the end of the heaven. That means Albert Einstein's a moron. That means outer space does not go on forever. Albert Einstein's he's not only a liar, he's a moron, and nothing he said is of any value whatsoever. They prop up Albert Einstein because you can't prove him wrong. Oh, that makes him a genius. Smartest man ever. You can't prove him wrong. Is that what you think? I really don't even know if he came up with that idea, but that's what he, he's credited with that idea. He's credited with a lot of things he didn't say or do, right? Regardless, regardless, the end of heaven suggests that outer space is not infinite, unless outer space is 100% imaginary, 100% fiction, not real. And that's, that's where I stand, is this idea of outer space. There is no outer space. It's heaven. You ever noticed? I did this a long time ago. I'm not kidding you. What long? Long time ago. Look. And I've even heard people say the Bible doesn't talk about outer space at all. You're right. You're absolutely right. No question about it because it's not outer space it's heaven it is heaven heaven above earth below all right so if I wasted enough time talking about this I just wanted to touch on a couple of things right there the earth is not flat you're a big time doe head if you think it's flat it's not flat at all it's bumpy all right